Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Herman Green. The Jamaica Manufacturers and Exporters Association, JMEA, is today demanding answers from the government on a number of issues. Speaking at a quarterly press briefing on Tuesday, President of the Association, Metro Siaga, said the government has been silent on the issues which directly affect his members. TVJ's Andrew Ladley was there and now reports. The Jamaica Manufacturers and Exporters Association, JMEA, is reporting a year of success, but not without its challenges. Key among them, factory space, better financing, and procurement regulations. On the procurement side, President of the JMEA, Mitri Siaga, is demanding answers from the government. I have spoken about it ad nauseum. We, we have put a proposal forward. It's passed through one of the houses, and it, the bill has stalled again. We need to know why, uh, and we need to get that solved quickly. We need to stop spending our taxpayers' money overseas when we can spend it here in many cases. When it comes to financing, Mr. Siaga is asking for a special lending rate at 5% for manufacturers. He's also demanding that the government fast-track the proposal to use funds from dormant accounts to finance the industry. We have heard the minister say that he's looking at the dormant funds. We've been talking about that since the last administration. We want those funds now. The BPO sector gets it, the tourism sector gets it, manufacturing needs to get it and we need to get it now. The JMEA president says the issue of finding appropriate factory space for some of his members is also outstanding. We are concerned that um, Factories Corporation does have, has been charged with the responsibility of divesting some of its prop properties and we are concerned that some of those properties house manufacturers that need space to go into. So we need Factories Corporation to work, continue to work with us as they have been doing to get some factory space at concessionary rates for our small members to bring them into the sector bring them into the formal sector so that they can become registered companies, so that they can become taxpayers, so that they can become employers. The JMEA, relentless in its contribution to economic growth, says it won't rest until the issues are resolved. For the Business Day, I'm Andrew Laidley. Currency trading ended today with the U.S. dollar selling for $126.50. The Canadian dollar closed at $96.12. The pound is going for $162.54, while the euro sold for $146.28 on average. Oil prices traded lower today. Oil for delivery in December went down by $4.02 to settle at $53.36 a barrel. The JSE index gained 5,232 points today, while the junior market index is up by 21 points. Stocks posting gains included Access Financial, Verita Investments, Carib Cement, Derrimon Trading, Epley, Fosterich, Grace Kennedy, Honeybun, and Jamaica Broilers. Now on the losing side were AMG Packaging and Paper, Blue Power, Caribbean Producers, Elite Diagnostic, JMMB Group, Nutsford Express, Medical Disposables and Supplies, and Panjam Investment. And that's the Business Day. I'm Herman Green. Good evening.